Oh, the sun is shining. I'm in a shirt and shorts. It is glistening. What a perfect day to sit inside. Hey guys, and welcome back to the start of season four of the iBar FIFA 20 career mode. Yes, I am so excited for this video. We've just come off a bit of a good episode. So if you haven't seen that one, please go ahead and watch it. It'll be labeled England in the playlist. Give it a click. It is really good nonetheless. But our focus is fully back onto iBar after the heroics of the World Cup. And as you can see here, I'm going to go through everything I bar, starting with all the, like, what do you call it, objectives and everything. Then we'll go to the squad hub, and then we can start the transfers. So, we have, I think these have improved a little bit on the objectives. Youth development. Uh, sign one player from the youth academy for a defender. That is quite uh, achievable. Hope that would have happened last season, because we had silver. Uh, and then, sign one youth player to the team, play them for five matches. We had that last year. Brand exposure. Keep a streak of 85% attendance. Yeah, I've got no control over that. This is what I don't get. I looked at this off screen. You reach the Europa League final. One, it's short term. Two, we're not even in the tournament. Anyway, we're moving on. The want us to finish in a Champions League position. I just think that's a very ballsy move from the club. I don't think I'll ever get that. Copa de España, more achievable, but still uh, more than the round of 32 where we usually got knocked out. And within three seasons, increase the club's worth. I feel like we've probably done that already, so that shouldn't be a problem. On to the squad hub now, and the players are the same. I haven't made any transfers. We should be getting loads of players back off loan at the start, or if not through this first month of the transfers. We've got Dimitrovic, 83. Don't want to let him go. Don't want to let him go. Zarko, maybe it's time we offload him. 24, we could get a decent third choice keeper. Emerson staying, Silva hopefully stays, really good left back, and Kulu hopefully staying, I think he might retire at the club, but Salisu and Saar, maybe we'll see one of them leave, because we're overcrowded with centre-backs, both 80 rated, and should sell for a hefty price. Rizzo, a youth player staying at the club, although his potential's kind of slacking a little bit for my liking. Clement Vidal, maybe it's time we offload him, got him to 72 rated, just doesn't improve. Estevez. Maybe we just get rid of him straight away. Garcia, as well, is not improved how I want it. I want him to be at, like, 77 rated by now. But I think I might keep hold of him. Alacouch is new. He's staying the fresh face, along with Rinaldi. I know he's a little bit slacking, but he's a year younger than the other youth players we've already looked at. Daniel Amati. Uh, I hate to say it, but I'm open to offers for him. William Barros, hopeful he can stay. Good CDM, along with Juan Gucci on loan at Crystal Palace last year. Still mind blowing. 20 years old, 70 rated at Crystal Palace from Ibar. Hopefully he stays with us because I think he's good at the prospect role that he's got. Vaz. Oh my god, I want him to carry us into the future. My standout player, I think he's Ronaldo's region, but I'm not sure. I eat Manassa. Hopefully will stay, although I'd like a, maybe a rotation role on him, or maybe important, because he is only 8 rated. Exposito, hopefully he can stay as highest rated player at the club. Probably say he's not the best, but the highest rated nonetheless. Villar, he was good, cheap buy, want to keep him, but I'm always open to offers for someone of his rating. Guvia, a youth player, hopeful he can grow. Rafinha, uh, it depends on the price for him. I'd let him go if he like hit the 30 mil mark, but apart from that, I'd like him to stay. Lovro Meyer, I want to keep at the club. Good off the bench as well, because he's only got a sporadic role. How can an 81 rated have a sporadic role? That's absolutely mind boggling. Eki Bravo's on the transfer list, want to get rid of him. Ostergaard probably can go on the loan list right now. Not going to play. And um, Bustos, I'm not sure. He maybe could go out on loan or maybe stay for a couple of cup games. I'll have to make my mind up on him. Guedes, improving. Mm, not the best, actually. 64 at 19. Because we've got a new striker in the academy, I think. It was better than him. Escobar, yeah, probably keep him for the time being. Baron Texier is a backup. He wants to stay. Aspas, Zilouis. Maybe we could get one of these out, but Aspas is retiring at the end of the season, so we are going to offload one of them. And finally, Juan Camilo Hernandez, the new striker. Didn't kick off the way I expected him to try and get us into that uh, Europa League spot. We didn't get there, of course, on goal difference. I know, annoying. But yeah, I can see him definitely staying. No transfers done off screen, no pre-contracts, unfortunately. But look at the transfer budget. Players can still leave as well. 52 million? For the smallest club in the league. I will take that all day long. I thought we were going to get like 
20 million. And of course, we've got the cup competition. We're in England for it. We've got Arsenal, Lazio, and Milan. Not the easiest cup, but if we win it, we get 11 million. So, as we simulate this first day, oh, the business starts here. I know we're not going to do any before this Milan game. I'm going to go ahead and simulate it. Auto replace everything. See if we can get a win and get some money through to the next round. It'd be a big win if we beat Milan, but it's not to be. 3-0, Benaka, Suso and Rashka with the goals. Fair play. Maybe it's a good job we actually didn't get in the Europa League. If Milan are in it, it looks like a Europa League group, this Milan, Lazio and Arsenal. So if we're losing to 3-0 to uh, Milan, I don't really have high hopes. And at the moment, this is what us transfer uh, targets look like. I don't really have any in mind to go for straight away, but we've got the likes of Berakovsky. Really complicated name, but he would be a good backup if we sell Zarko. Uh, mostly like old players like Felipe. But Beltran, we looked at before. He looks pretty decent. Of course, got Ait Benassa, though, who's young. It's going to be very difficult to sign some players with an already really good team. Maybe some players have to go out this window. I've got a lot of decisions to make. But, yeah, let's get the ball rolling. Approach to sign Berakovsky. He's a free agent, 68 rated at 20-year-old. He could actually turn into his backup keeper if Dimitrovic or Sevilla leaves in the future. So, I hopefully can get this guy. Prospect. Shouldn't be any bad things about this. No faults. If it all goes to plan, he wants a 2 million. That's kind of not in my plan. Can I deny that, please? Can I? Is that going to go through? It is. We can move forward. Then the contract, uh, I'll just offer 4 million. Oh, 4 million? 4,000 because we are a bigger club now than we started off with. So we can pay them to people. And we've got a third choice keeper in. Happy days. Speaking of backup choices, we've got a lot of players here who could get out on loan. But yeah, Zarko is the main priority to get out of the club now at the moment. Berikovsky, you can go in front of him. Even Zarko himself agrees that they want to go. Glad we're aligned, mate. And here we have Arsenal. It'd be a big win if we could get this, because it looks like at the moment we are going to go out in this tournament. Oh, what's the needs fixing? Is the players out of the World Cup? No, it's Emerson at left back. I'll just change that straight away. This is it. Can we get a win against the Mighty Gunners? Can we do it? Pull off an upset. 2-1. Isn't that bad? Gomez and Gabamon scoring for them. Rafinha getting subbed after his goal for us. And yeah, not doing well in the tournament. Here as well. Got another player injured. 10 days for Salisu. But Ostergaard's got a loan offer. I'm not even going to attempt to say that club. Polish one, I think. Ostergaard is on his bike. And no transfers still going through. On our part, I thought that was going to be a message then. No. Nope. And we've got Lazio in the last group game. We're already out of it. Can we get a win in it? That would be a surprise. And we actually do. I hit Manassa with the goal. That's a nice feeling, actually winning a game. So we get 1.8 million. Not what we wanted, but still. What is it, like 55 million to spend? Ain't that bad. And we've had the release clause for Zarko, man. That's actually pretty good because I don't think anyone would have come in and bought him. So five, well, half a million. It's not the biggest sum of money, but he is a backup going down. So, yeah, I'll accept that. But, yeah, let's get splashing the cash a bit. Who could we buy on this list? I liked him. I really liked Lubataco, or I'm not even going to be able to say his name all the way through it. I really liked the look of him, but then we bought uh, Camilo Hernandez. Maybe one of these guys I've added to the list, but this is my main priority, I think. Jason Denier. He's actually 84 rated, so if we could get him, it would be a big steal. I'd go for 25 million, and maybe 33 is the highest. I'd like to get this guy through the door. And Zarko has left the club, but a loan offer for Eric Garcia from Aston Villa in his old league when he played for Man City, of course. If they haven't got relegated, I'll accept the offer, because I think he can get some experience there. We've got monthly stuff, but two transfer offers. Danny Amati, 4.5 million from Angres. Do we let him go? It's bang on his evaluation, below his release clause. But the, the like guy, I don't know who it is who tells you, the saying his market value is lower. So I might actually... Oh, no, I might actually let the beast go here. I'm going to accept it. Just need to. And then the team have just played Lazio, putting a 20 million offer in for Milan Saar. And, you know, I'm quite tempted. He can go up to 25, though. I'll try and negotiate it. My mindset at the moment is... Why keep players this high rated just to sit on the bench after Salisu? So if one of them's going to go, one of them's going to go. 25 million and you got yourself a deal. I want to put a release clause on. No, I want the money. I don't care about the release clause. Up it to 25 million. They've come back with a higher one. 
Literally, man, I don't care. I don't care. Remove that. Give us 25 million or we don't have a deal. And they've actually accepted it. <laughs> 10 grand extra as well. Why didn't they just accept the first one? 25 million for Saif. It goes for that 70, like, 5 million in the bank. We could actually go and get some big boys. And there's a loan off of Vaz from Real Betis. Definitely not going anywhere. I don't, think, I don't even know what you're thinking of. Uh, Guvia, you can go out on loan. But Vaz, he's staying. And that's actually the last we see of the beast, Ansar. <laughs> Daniel Amati has left the club and so has Malang Sar. Very sad to see it happening, but what is the price have we got now? How much money? Come on. How much money? 79 million! Oh, I'm going to spend it all. And I think this is the guy we buy next. Can play centre mid. Cam. Levante are always struggling. Ennis Bardi. I'm going to put a delegation in for him. Actually, no, he has a release clause, I saw. 27 million. You know, I might try and pay that. Yep, skip to the negotiations. Let's have a look. Negotiate this. This guy looks good because he can play in camp in the CDM role. I have class the centre mid as a CDM in my formation. So, would be a really good buy. He wants a crucial. I'll give him that. Daniel Farker as his, um, what do you call it, agent. He wants a four years. I'll give him that. No release clause, please. Disregard it. 63. I mean, I'll accept it, but I don't want him to leave straight away. Now the contract. If we can get this guy in, it would be a steal. Maybe 35. I'll just offer the exact same he's on right now. Carbon copy. Is he coming to the club? He is. Ennis Bardi is the first name through the door as uh, Denier hasn't accepted his offer yet. A really good buy. So I think we're actually close to the season starting now. We need to get some transfers in. Loan offer for Gwendova. So I'm guessing he didn't go out the first time. I'll accept that. What are the first games? We've got Valladolid, Levante, who we've just bought Bardi from, and Deportivo. Yeah, that's actually not a bad start. We could get really positive off that, and then we've got group stage games. I don't know if that's for like the Euro, per, or the Euro League, whatever it is, Nations League. I don't know if it's for that or not. But then Sociedad and both Madrids. Hmm. I don't like that congestion of the Madrids, but if we can get some transfers in, it might actually make me a lot happier going into some games. And it actually failed the bid for Denier. I think at the moment, Salisu is the next replacement because we've got a really good team. Alacouch is 80 rated as well as Salisu, but uh, we've just got Alacouch, so I don't really want to replace him. It's actually hard to make improvements with his squad. Gubi has just had another loan offer. I've accepted that. And I think it might be might be a bit um, too much, but I've got an idea of someone who I've used, who I've got in mind to buy it's going to be a big ask. And it's this guy, John Stones. He's an Inter, 87 rated. Of course, English players tend to not leave England, but he already has, so that's the reason I'm thinking, like, he might want to move again because I don't like to take English players out of the BPL because it just seems a bit unrealistic. But this guy is already moved. And you might be thinking, why aren't you going for the other centre-back? Which, if you haven't seen the last episode, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But this guy was really good when I used him in the uh, World Cup. Felt really good, defended everything, even put crosses in the box somehow. So I'm going to try and get him in. I'm not going to delegate it, and I'll see what I can do. Of course, 87 rated for Ibar as well. That is just massive if we could get him in. 40 million is his price tag. 28 year old, he's still got a couple of years left, and I think 40 million for an 87 rated is an okay deal. 40 million, I'll offer straight up. 44.6. Doesn't leave. I want to be left with like 10 million to get like a backup player in somewhere. But 41 million, if you can accept that, he has done. And if we can get John Stones in, it would be a big buy. Of course, he's not the most popular of players in real life because of like some mistakes he's made in his career before. But I'm putting that all past me. Why have I done that? He's not going to take important. He's 87 rated. Definitely crucial. I just thought I'd be a bit cheeky there. Three years, it's just all down to the wage. 105 is a lot for a player. Disregard that. 83, I'll accept it, but I don't want to let you go. And then 61, he's taking a huge pay cut to come to Ibar. But you know what? I'll accept it. Our highest rated and record fee for this club. John Stones, welcome to SD Ibar. And that is a huge buy. Here's how the team looks now. Of course, Silver's in the team because of Emerson's injury, but when Emerson's in... It's a full 80-rated squad. And, geez, that looks amazing. Dimitrovic still going strong. He's been here through thick and thin. Same with Exposito, but we've got Alakouch and Kulu. John Stones now looks amazing. 87-rated at the back. 
we should actually do well in the league from shipping in goals now. Because we've got another big centre-back in. Silva, obviously replaced, like I just said. Bardi and Barrios, 283 rated in front of the defence. With Rafinha, Exposito, Maya and Juan Camilo Hernandez as new striker who hopefully can grow. And I think... Maybe the next bite is maybe a replacement, but of course Silva will drop to the bench when Emerson comes back. But then of course we don't have another defender. But yeah, my scout's got to go get a defender, so yeah, I'm not really bothered. I've got 10 million still to spend, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. Because unfortunately guys, or should I say fortunately, we've done this business, but this is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. It might be a bit short, but of course we've played pre-season, didn't get... As far as I would have hoped, if we could have got further, maybe we could have bought another player. Sort of had like 23 million, but like, comment, share and subscribe for the future. I am going into this season with a new slate, wiping off last season's miseries straight away. And I will see you all in the next one. In a bit, peace. <laughs>